Hey guys, my name is Mark Dressen, you're watching MDTV and in this video I'm going to talk about DNA testing. Is this the new secret to weight loss or six-pack abs? Stay tuned, we'll find out. Okay, so before we get into the nitty-gritty of the actual test and the test results you get, I want to talk a bit about myself. Because I think you might be asking yourself, why, why is this guy sitting here talking about it? Well, it's quite simple. I studied sports at university to bachelor and master level. After that, I opened my own gym. At the same time, I competed at European and World Championships in martial arts. I became European champion. And over the past 17 years, I've been working as a personal trainer and coach in various gyms and um, sports teams. Now, why is that important? I think because I can see it from both sides. I can see it as an athlete being one, knowing what determination and focus you need to put into your sport to reach your goal. Also, being on the other side, the coach who gets the people to where they want to be. And as a sports scientist, I'm just interested in new products coming on the market. At the same time, I'm interested in research and publications and trends within the fitness, sports and health industry. Just because I want to deliver on the promise I give to my clients, telling them you can lose weight, you can get into the best shape of your life, you can have six pack abs, you can bulk up, whatever it is you want, you can achieve it because I know how to do it. And that's how I came across basically this DNA testing and I was really interested in it. Now, who's this for? Basically, I would say it's for everyone. Everyone who's training and wants to get better and wants to definitely have some evidence of what they're, that what they're doing is really working, this is one of the best tools at the moment on the market which will give you that certainty you're looking for. Okay, now let's have a look at the actual product. So once you purchase this online, and I'm going to put a link down here where you can have a bit more of details about the product, you will be sent this package. And this consists of an envelope, which you will need because you're going to send it back to the actual laboratory where it's going to be tested. And this so-called DNA collection kit. And what is this? This is a mouse swab you can do by yourself at home. Now let's unbox this and have a look what it's inside. So you swab it just to the side, open it. You've got a little box. We open the box. And the first thing you have is like, um, we'll open it. It's a bit of paperwork you need to do because you need to fill out your consent that you agree that your, your um, DNA has been uh, tested and your personal details are been taken and written down. So it looks a bit like this. So just fill that out. Then on the back of it, you've got the terms and conditions. And then you've got a little swabbing process which tells you exactly what you should be doing and how to do it. So it's pretty easy, really straightforward. Now let's have a look at the actual mouse swab. So after that we've got the box and you've got this little swabbing test. So we open it, let's rip it open. Down here, down here, down here. Here we go. Whoop. So, now this is a bit tricky, this one. It makes a lot of noise, right? It's a bit of it's the paper. And it looks very sterile and very, um, I would say, <laughs> this takes ages here. Okay, got it now. So, we took this all out. I'll put this paper to the side, so throw it away later. And this is the actual piece you will need to take your mouth swap. So this little bit here, that one, you use and you now, you just put it in your mouth and you kind of keep swabbing it against your cheek. You can switch to the other side and keep doing it, keep swabbing, you know, keep collecting the DNA inside of your cheek and give it like a a really good rub on the side, right? Once you've done that, you've got this um, little plastic capsule which you will be using. 
Now you can see when you look at it in detail, you might see it here, right there, is like a little um, already cut in it that will make it easier to break it off. Because what you don't want to do is after you took the mouse swab, you don't want to touch this. So you put it inside and exactly where this breaking point is, you can break it off just like that. And then it kind of just falls into it. So now we've got it in here. And the next thing we need to do is because it might take a couple of um, days to actually reach the laboratory, we want to make sure it stays fresh in there. And that's why we've got another little thing, like a capsule we have to put inside. So you open the capsule. And again, what you don't want to do is, if, you, if it's um, possible, not to touch that capsule with your hand. So you use it here. You, you put the capsule inside, yeah? just swap it inside like that, so it's on top of it, and then you close it, just like this. And then you've got your collection kit ready to go. Now, what you will see is that on this silver package which you had inside, is like a little um, sticker on it with a number, and this is really important because this number will identify your swab test with the actual consent and your data you will fill out. So make sure that you check the number on here will actually be the same number which is on your DNA test right here. And then you kind of seal your little plastic um, swab test just like this. You take that off. And the best way to do it is just to seal it around the top like that and it's ready to go. So let's just say I filled in all of the information on the consent form and now all I do is I put the swap test into the envelope, I sign my consent, I put the consent inside, I close the envelope and there's already the address on it where it needs to go. You go to the post office, you need to pay for the actual posting if you want it first class or second class, whatever, wherever you are in the world, it doesn't really matter. Post it to that address and then it takes 10 days for you that the results will return. So let's put all of this to the side. Now you kind of know how to use and how to do the swap test, which is really important for you to be able to get the results. Now talking about the results, this is now kind of the interesting bit because there are, I would say, three products you can purchase. And that is, on the one hand, you can get the so-called just um, diet, uh, the fitness report, sorry. And you've got the diet report right here. Meaning, one will give you information about how to train properly, about your, your potential in working out, and the other one obviously will tell you, uh, according to your genetic profile, what's your ideal diet. And we'll look at these just in a second in more detail. Again, I'm gonna put in the link here right now where you can click on and get some more detailed information on both of these because I'm gonna run through them quite quickly. So you can either purchase one, two, or both of them. If you purchase both of them, they're obviously cheaper. So let's have a look at the um, fitness report first. And on the first page, you will get an overview of what you get with it. And you probably couldn't have read that so quickly, so I'm gonna run you through it. It's your power endurance profile. You will get your VO2 max potential, your post-exercise recovery, your recovery nutrition, so what kind of nutrition you should be eating to recover properly, and your injury risk. Now, I think the most important and the most valuable information you will get out of this um, report is actually your endurance and power potential and uh, profile. I'm also just gonna show you that because I wanna run through this a bit quicker, but you will get it why this is really important and why this is already just worth the price just because of that report. Now, I... I, I um, Put, I had some drawings on here, so just ignore them. Now what you will get is something that looks a bit like this. 
And what it does is it tells you your, the genes which are tested you will find here. And on the side you will find signs like plus, double plus, minus, one plus and so on, which just says how effective or um, do you have these genes and how do they affect your endurance and power potential. Now, when you look at this, it's like a graph. It gives you an indication if you're more a power person or more endurance person. Now, what does that mean? It basically means if you are, well, endurance person, meaning let's assume you would be 70% endurance, according to your genetic profile, it means you as a person respond better to long distance running, to swimming, to, um, what do else do they have here? Mountain climbing and cycling, something like that. Now, on the other hand, if your power potential would be around 70% or 80%, means you're very much likely to be able to be a power lifter, a sprinter, um, do all these hit classes, which are very, um, uh, which everyone does out there at the moment. Now, I think just out of the out of a trainer perspective, this gives me so much valuable information about the client, about you. If I would be to train you and I get this report, I exactly know what to do with you to reach your perfect goal. Now, if you don't have a trainer, but you still want to do it, it doesn't really matter because the um, information is, I would say, very well explained within the, in the report anyway. So this should give you kind of an overview on the fitness report you will get. Now let's have a look at the diet. So afterwards, oh, here you go. Yep. This will give you basically your ideal diet, your carbohydrate and set fa fat sensitivity, lactose and gluten intolerance risk, detoxability, antioxidant needs, your recommended vitamin and micronutrient intake, salt, alcohol, and caffeine sensitivity. Now again, I'm not gonna run through the whole report, but what I do wanna point out, and I think this is um, really good and valuable information, because I had this test done, and I'm gonna share with you some of my results. And that is, for example, the carbohydrate sensitivity, which means are you a person who utilizes carbohydrates really well or are you a person who, you know, like me, for example, who's very, you know, sensitive to carbohydrates, which basically means if I look at bread, I kind of gain weight. That's what it means. Um, let me see where it is. So in this report, this person has a low sensitivity and the nice thing is you get a, like a little scale and graph at the top where you can see depending, this is carbohydrate sensitivity and this person is low. Mine was around here at high or super high. And again, it shows you at the bottom which genes they tested to be able to determine the carbohydrate sensitivity. And you can read up on all of these genes at the back as like a little um, explanation of all of them. Okay, that's the diet report. And what else should we point out? You will get a meal plan as well. So depending on, for example, for me, it was said that I'm better off with a low carb diet, which makes sense if you're sensible to uh, carbohydrates. So they will send you also a diet plan, which you can stick to if you want. Um, that's it so far. I hope this was sort of um, what you were looking for. And now you should have all the information you need to make the decision. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna bring out more reviews about products and uh, things hitting the fitness, health and uh, sports market. And I hope this gives you kind of the opportunity to make an informed decision of if this is the right product for you. Now, if you've got any questions around DNA testing, please leave a comment below in the comment box. I'll answer those. As well, if you want to stay in touch with me, down in the description box below, you find the links to all my social media channels. Make sure to check them out. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.